and welcome to Explore Bio. If you are new to bioinformatics and working with the sequence data, you might have heard about two most common type of file formats, namely FASTA and FASTQ. Today you will learn what these formats are and what is the basic difference between the two. FASTA and FASTQ are the file formats in which sequence data is stored. FASTA format is generally the processed file format without base quality information, while the FASTQ format is the intermediate file format that is generated by the next generation sequencers and contain quality scores of the base sequence. The FASTA format has two components. First is the sequence ID which always begins with a greater than symbol. The ID can be a gene ID, protein ID or any other custom ID you want to assign. The next line or the lines will be the sequence of the ID. You can make your own FASTA formatted sequence file. First open a notepad or notepad++. Next you add a greater than symbol followed by suitable ID of your own. And in the next line you add your sequence. In the same way you can add multiple sequences to get a multi FASTA file. The file is saved as .fa or .fasta extension. The second most important sequence format is a FASTQ format. This format is most commonly used to represent sequences obtained from next generation sequencing data of genomes or transcriptomes. It has sequence quality information which is not provided in the FASTA format. The FASTQ format comprises of four lines instead of two. The first line starts with the at the rate followed by sequence ID and the other attributes like length. The second line shows the sequence. The third line is a separator denoted by plus symbol. Fourth line represents the quality score of read and is represented in ASCII format. Now let's know why we need to have base quality information. Most popular Illumina sequencing chemistry is based on sequencing by synthesis. Fluorescent labeled nucleotides are added and captured by highly sensitive camera. Each nucleotide is labeled with different fluorophore and it is essential to know that the captured fluorescent signal by the instrument represents the actual nucleotide being added because errors do occur during the signal capture. The process of base fluorescent signal capture is known as base calling which is saved as BCL file. After the sequencing run is completed, the BCL file is converted to FASTQ formatted files. The last line in the FASTQ format I just mentioned tells the quality of each base in the form of symbols. The exclamatory represents the lowest quality or Q score while I represents highest quality or highest Q score which is 40. If the bases are of poor quality, the sequence needs to be filtered out in subsequent steps before proceeding for downstream analysis such as assembly and mapping. If you want to learn how quality filtering is done, do watch my video which is given in the description below. If you want to learn about the transcriptome basics, its workflow, filtering, you can watch my other videos. If you like the video, do share with others. Mention in the comments about your specific request. I usually respond to them. Subscribe to get notified about my latest video uploads. Watch my playlist on techniques, markers, research articles, review related stuff. And finally, thanks for watching.